Hello everyone, and welcome back to our Stalker Gamma Ecologist run, where we are playing Dr. Krominov, the ecologist who does not take assassination missions, does not get involved in the politics of the zone, and does not take stuff from dead bodies. Well, wearable stuff, at least. So last episode, we started out in Dead City, cleared Limansk of Monolith, and took the artifact from the northernmost part of Limansk, we turned it back in to the ecologist doctor in the farmstead in army warehouses. And because we were running out of time to do the next mission, which is in radar, we went to Cordon into the rookie village and we gave Sidorovich the artifacts for Hip. And we also took Hip's next mission. Also, a freedom guy just got killed by a chimera. Next up, today, we are going to do the next part of the mission for HIP. Well, part of the next part, which is we are going to talk to Lukash, who needs us to take some medical supplies to Yanov Station in Jupiter. It's on the way, so we might as well do it. I took that over the other mission, which was for a barman or bartender in Rostock, because we do like our NATO weapons and I'd rather get my reputation up or keep my reputation up with freedom and the mercs then increase our reputation with duty. Also, duty doesn't really have a huge presence up in the north, so it's better to be friends with freedom and the mercs, I think. And this episode, we will also do the mission in Radar. We will have to go to the entrance to Lab X-19. Not this one, but there is another one over here, which is not the next uh, entrance, it's actually caved in. But we will have to take the documents from there, which means we will have to go through Radar, clear Monolith again, at least the checkpoints here. And then we'll have to search through the forest, which is full of mutants. For the artifact beds, I think there's three of them, but I'm not sure. I always forget, and I don't think we will have a location for this. So we will be searching on our own, which is kind of annoying. But we do have two followers, which is Hip and another experienced mercenary, Bitka Executioner. So hopefully we'll get through it pretty well. Between episodes, I also sold a lot of our weapons, which we weren't using anymore. I basically took everything that had a good barrel out of the stashes, and I fixed it up with parts we had laying around. It did take a little bit of money to get cleaning kits to fix the weapons to a sellable um, condition. But all in all, I think we managed to turn a profit. But yeah, let's get started. We'll go over and have a little talk to Lukash for hip. You should be right over here. There he is. Lukash. Hey Lukash, a friend of mine wanted to come see you. I think you know her. Ah yes, come on in. Help yourself to some grass. You might need it for the trip ahead. You made the right choice coming here, you two. Loki's job became a lot harder after the monolith got the second wind. The medicine you'll bring him will help save many decent people. And he gave us a toke. <laughs> right. Apparently Hip has never been past the barrier before. Is this true? Yes. Can't blame her. After you watch some of your friends get zombified before your eyes, makes sense you'd want to get the hell away from this place, the place it happened. Between that and having to fight duty, eh. But she seems resolved to make the trip now. The two of you will be going to Yanov Station in Jupiter. Drop these meds off with Loki once you arrive. Alright, the sooner we go, the better. Oh, it's two scientific medical packages? I'm not sure how much they weigh. I think it's the big packages, right? Yeah, it's 
almost four kilos. That's that's pretty much, but it's good enough. And we do have the mission. I activate secondary task tasks to go to Yano Station and take the meds to Loki. But for now, we will go radar, which is pretty scary. How are we on bullets, actually? You know what? I think it should be enough. We have some bullets for the sniper rifle as well. And you know what? I will leave these two sniper rifles right here. Just in case we'll need them later, because I don't want to carry them all the way into radar. Right, so by now you all know the trip through the through the army warehouses radar. I've done this so many times I'm starting to get sick of it honestly. <laughs> but we do know there's a chimera running around, so I'm gonna switch to HP. And I do think I heard something over to the left over there. Gotta always keep your ears open when chimeras are involved, because they're very quiet mutants. But if you don't have any music and you take care, have a look around and keep your ears open, you should be able to hear them approaching. But it looks like we're safe for now. radar. So first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a look over there. Already a mutant. It's me in the magazine. That's the Pluto dog. And Hip got shot by the merc behind her. Right. I'm so glad I forked up the money to buy this G36K. Ooh, we got a pelt. Psydog fur. It's not the best, not the worst. Dead cat. Alright, we're gonna take it nice and easy here. Radar is a dangerous place. We are much better equipped than we were last time. Well, we have a much better sniper rifle and a better rifle, but we are still not that good on armor. And this is probably the best heavy armor we will have for a while now. Since the ecologists don't have a heavy armor to give, and already I heard some growling. So there is definitely a chimera around here. Okay, dogs. And did you see that? There it is. Right. I have to get off the rock. My friends, you know how we deal with chimeras. Well, I was gonna do my whole uh, pause the video, like and subscribe skit, but um, apparently. We are way, way better equipped than we were last time. 
Because what I didn't take into account when it comes to equipment is we now have two amazing companions with us. Okay, I'm gonna switch to FMJ because I'm not sure what's gonna be expecting us here. It may be another big mutant, although a Chimera already came from there and I think that's the only big spawn in this area. But there may be other mutants, there may be monolith. Okay, it looks safe. Let's switch to AP. If there was a mutant here, it would have charged us by now. Or we would have heard a uh, rifle fire coming from the monolith checkpoint. Don't see any monolith over there, but it doesn't mean they aren't hiding behind the pipes. We'll run to our favorite place, which is the rocks over here. They provide pretty good cover. Not seeing anyone. Okay. Where did he go? Oh! I don't know what gun that guy has, but oh god, it hurts. Okay, he's down. Our guys are still engaged. Might as well kill that guy while he's still unaware of us. And I don't see anyone else. Oh right, good job, hip. There's one more out there in the distance. Oh. I hate this. Little bug, I think we upgraded the weapon. Okay. There's definitely one more monolith. Over there. More than one. Got him. Bleeding pretty heavily, so let's do a bandage. Well, that escalated quickly. <laughs> right. Luckily, we do have a lot of meds. bit of looting. Okay, let's get our armor fixed up a little bit. Our weapons are still pretty good and I will also take one of these. Perfect. What actually let's switch to FMJ. I don't see anyone else around. You're a little bit dizzy from all the meds.
Okay, I do wanna loot these corpses around here. Can we get to that one? Oh, I, I know my aiming isn't really good, but this one, it, it was a thing of beauty, I think. Between the pipes. <laughs> Alright, I'm not gonna go all the way to that guy. But I will... Ooh, an Adar. Never actually used one of those. Oh! Someone's engaged. Uh, hip? She's probably trying to fight some mutant over there. Oh, that's not our thing right now. We are going to the X-19 cave in entrance. Which doesn't show up on the map unless you actually find it before. I think it shows up as an area. But only if you visited it before. Now, I'm not sure about monolith presence around here. I don't remember there being any, but you never know in radar. So, we'll try to stick to cover if possible. There's a watchtower over there. Oh, it's the Pripyat Tunnel. But yeah, this, this is actually the place we need to visit, if I remember correctly. I haven't done this mission, these missions in a while, so I'm not completely sure, but I'm going to take the ammo. But it should be here. And there they are. Okay, let's see, are they marked on the map? They are not marked on the map, which is... Uh, oof. But maybe... Maybe we can... Maybe we can take a bit of inspiration from the names, so... Nope. It's just the Deadwood, which is this whole area here. Okay, well, I hope 300 HP ammo is enough. We also have our mighty little Kunan for when we actually look for the artifacts. And it does shoot 357. So we won't be naked while searching. But if a pseudo giant shows up, shows up, 357 won't save us. <laughs> On the other hand, we also have about 10 grenades. So hopefully those will be enough. Now, there are some things I want to do first. And one of the things is I want to clear the hole in the fence because that's very close to a big mutant spawn. I always say this when I'm coming to radar. Usually I mine that spot when I go to the brain scorcher. But we're not gonna get that far this time. All I wanna do is move through it so we can get to the actual forest part. We are pretty heavy. I might have to do a uh, Hercules. Actually, pretty good. Just gotta clear these rads a bit. Now, there may be more monoliths just up the road, but I don't really want to clear them. Hopefully, they won't come at us from behind. They're just a bit higher. Right? I can hear lurkers in the distance. There he is. Oh, 
Okay, but it's it's never this easy here. There's definitely gonna be something else. The monolith didn't. <laughs> oh, that that that's that's better than epinephrine. That gave me a real life boost of adrenaline. Okay. Oh. Um. I put it though. Hey. There we go. Chimera heart and a little bit of meat. Okay. Let's check the map a bit. Usually around this area, I know there are are pseudo giants. I haven't heard any, but. Uh, I'm still kind of scared of them. Okay, so we're just going to run around with our scanner a little bit and see where, if we can find these artifacts. We're just looking for any places with higher density anomalies. Okay, there's an anomaly here. And yeah, you heard it. You jump up there? No. Jump when he strikes. and just empty our magazine in it. Okay. We managed to kill the pseudo giant without losing any team members, which is quite frankly amazing. Usually an encounter like this in close range results in at least one of them dying. We're not done. Oh! It's a jumper. Luckily it was already limping, so something fought with it before. But I'm I'm not sure what. That's a dog. And we have our first artifact. I'm not sure if this is the actual sample we're looking for. But there's definitely something here. Not sure where. Um, hello? Oh, there we go. Oh, it's just a gravy. Standard gravy. I mean, still good. We can use it. Or sell it. Okay, more dogs. I think the jumper fought with dogs. bit of radiation here and uh, some of these places are familiar I think that Cree no oh we're gonna keep looking I, I every time I do this I end up end up just searching for these artifacts for a little bit so bear with me I'm I'm finding these these ones at the same time you are. All 
Alright, not here. We are mapping the southern part of the forest. And there's an artifact right here. A bat. Yeah, it's still not what we're looking for. I'd rather not go into that anomaly. Uh, it, it doesn't really... Oh, snorks. And another artifact over there. I'll let our guys deal with them. Although I think they just teleported forward in time. It's what those anomalies do. They don't actually hurt you. Oh, here's the first artifact. We got it. A mushroom! <laughs> okay, so these uh, anomalies actually teleport you forward in time. They won't hurt you, if I remember correctly. They will only give you a pretty high dose of radiation. Another artifact will definitely be up here. Uh, where, where the helicopter is. So we'll head that way. But yeah, remember those anomalies. In case you are caught in an emission or fighting a dangerous mutant and you're desperate to get away, those anomalies can actually be help helpful. They will teleport you... Well, they will advance time with you inside for a few hours. So that way they can get um, they can get you through emissions or even get you away from horrible mutant fights. Right. Go. This one's on top of the helicopter, just as I remembered. And then there's the last one, and I don't remember where this one is. I'm gonna assume it's somewhere around here. Plus there's a stash in here, so I'm gonna take that as well. I'm gonna take some anti-rad drugs. And of course, have one of these. Uh, don't get stuck in a tree. Right. Okay, do we go right or... I'm gonna go this way, like that. So, to the right of this mountain here. There will definitely be more mutants around. Electric anomaly? I really love having this detector. I'm really glad we upgraded to it before we started doing this uh, radar mission. Alright, that's a big artifact. It's not what we're looking for, but we'll take it either way. We are an ecologist, after all. It is a sponge. It's the sponge radioactive. Yes, so let's put it in its box. Another artifact over there. I th think it's on the other side of the mountain. I thought I heard a mutant. Not sure, though. I do remember there being a hollowed out tree somewhere around here. Oh! I think that might be it. Okay, first let's see where this stash is. Is it? Uh, is it inside the tree or on top? Oh, there we go. Oh, a rebirth. That's pretty cool. If we're ever really desperate heal ourselves in one go. Rebirths are pretty awesome, but they make you extremely dizzy. Okay, it can't be on top of the mountain. Probably just on the other side. Or can it be on top? I definitely saw it around there somewhere, so... Uh, a quick tour of this mountain. Yeah, no, there's, there's invisible barriers around it. Oh, 
Now there's also gravitational anomalies here and I'm the one thing I'm afraid of is that the artifact might have uh, gotten into one of those and gotten blown on top of the mountain. Hopefully that's not the case. Oh no. I can see a dead body over there as well. Okay, how did you guys get up there? Okay, that's just not fair. <clears throat> okay, so I'll try to do something else, which is I'm gonna try and uh, reload the game. And if that doesn't work, I'll try running out of radar and coming back in. And hopefully that will resettle the artifact where it's supposed to be. Because, again, I just don't see a way to get up there. I did a reload and uh, it didn't help. There's still two artifacts up there. I'm not sure it's the artifacts we are actually looking for, but... Oh, there's another two here. Maybe it's these ones, hopefully? Oh, there's more. Okay. Okay, wrenched. There's another one here. You wrenched. Okay, that's cool. We're gonna be able to upgrade those. And there's another two artifacts over there. A sponge and a crystal another artifact forward over there oh my god this forest is crazy good for artifact hunting a flame and finally I can actually see the artifact we're hunting it's right over there I think it's on top of the tree yes so those two artifacts we spotted near the mountain that we couldn't get through to were actually um, just bugged out and they weren't for, for the mission. But we finished that. So we're gonna make our way back to army warehouses. We're gonna talk to our ecologist friend. And that should be it for this artifact hunt. And you know what? We did get quite a nice little stockpile of artifacts from that. I, I need to come here more often. Only it wasn't full of monolith and crazy mutants. Would be quite a nice uh, place for, a, for an artifact hunt. Okay, back in army warehouses, 
We're just gonna make a beeline straight to our ecologist friend. And uh, we're gonna see what we, he has to say and then we're gonna um, take all that info, note it down and uh, publish it without him. I don't think we'll meet any bandits on the way, so let's switch to HP. We got eight artifacts out of that. That's not including the ones we got for the mission. And here he is. Wow, you really didn't lie. The area was swarmed with monolith. However, I managed to get into the lab. Well, in front of the lab. Believe it or not, but you were right. I found three artificial artifacts and some papers that looked important. Here you go. Great! Don't ask how I knew it would be there. You wouldn't like the answer. Considering the nature of our research, I must ask for your discretion. I will reveal to the world eventually what happened here. But before I can do that, I need to complete my theory on these artifacts. Okay, we got a stash in the Red Forest. Don't care about that. And some money, a little bit. I understand. Is there anything else you need, Professor? We do not buy artifacts from stalkers or bandits. Without knowing the exact place of origin, they are useless to us. Our task is to collect samples from every corner of the zone. Got it. Yes, following up on your latest scans of the area, we found something interesting. A large group of mercenary controls an area which they called the Dead City. I got very stable readings from that area, so it will be great to use as a control. If you can bring me samples from these locations, I'll be able to create a baseline reading from them. Okay, so our next place is Dead City. Oh, there's something here. It sounds like zombies. Yeah, it's zombies. Yeah, I'm, I'm not good at aiming. <laughs> right. It's all good. Let's just head to Dead City. And let's get the artifacts over there as well. Okay, House of Culture, Administration Building. Oh, these are the only two. House of Culture is right here. Administration Building. Oh, I know where that is. At least I think I do. Okay, for the House of Culture, we're gonna have to take some side block. I'll just do it right now. We're actually really close to it. Gonna drink a Hercules to take care of the dizziness. But even with these precautions, I'm not sure... Oh, I wanted to switch to HP, not AP. There 
There we go. Much better. Even with these pre precautions, the House of Culture... Oh! Oh, crap. Those things are painful. Okay. Where was I? Yes, even with these precautions, the House of Culture could be uh, a little too much for our Psy Resist, so... Mm, yeah. You know what? What's safe is safe. Let's just... Grab our stuff from here. Psyduck. Actually, I think we might be able to use do it just with the Psydog fur and um, and the controller scalp. Oh, not this one. I want the good one. Okay, yeah, we, we have pretty good Cyruses. Okay. No, it's it's not enough. It's not enough. Yep. Come on. Brisk brisk base please please. Don't have all day. Okay, put this on. And uh one, two not that one. Good one. Put that on as well. Okay, that's better. We're basically taking no damage here. Okay, we are taking some side damage. Alright, I can see the artifact. It's over there. It's upstairs, isn't it? Okay, we're gonna wait a bit for our Psy health to go back up. Okay, should be okay. So let's quickly make our way up. First time I was here, I actually met the controller upstairs. I thought he was the reason I was taking Psy damage, but it's the place. Okay, so this was one. Switch back our armor and uh, use our proper belts. And now the Palace of Culture. And I'm not sure if I remember correctly, but I think this one will be on the top floor. That was it? Cool. Okay, so we'll just run back to the professor and we can turn these in. That was a really, really quick and easy mission. All right, I didn't even go back home. I just ran straight back to the army warehouses. We'll have a little talk to the professor over here. And hopefully, we will finally get started with the missions up in the north. Huh. The city didn't seem that dead to me. Here are the samples, Professor. Splendid work. Here is your bonus. 5,000. Sure. With how much you helped me, I might as well mention you in the pref pref preface, preface? preface of my thesis. Although you do not look like you care much about that yet. 
If you want more work, you might want to look for some of my colleagues here in the zone. Maybe they will have something for you. I'll send you to them. Do you have anything else I can help you with? This is all for now. If you want to help us further, then I will send you to a colleague of mine who would appreciate your help. I'll send you his location and let him know you're coming. Farewell, stalker. We need to find Professor Zhuk. Zuk Zhuk. I think ZH is a J. And he is... Well, spill it. He is in Yanov Station. Which is perfect. So, I think we'll end the episode right here. We managed to get two more areas of artifacts. One of it, which was, red, uh, was uh, radar, which is amazing. And we got a pretty good haul out of that. And also, Dead City. Next up... We're gonna head to Jupiter, and between episodes, not only will I go to Jupiter, but we will also take all our stuff. I probably will have to do multiple runs to move all the things to Jupiter, but yeah, I, I do wanna switch, finally switch places, because honestly, Dead City, as I said it before, it's not a good place for an ecologist. There's a lot of assassination missions, which we don't care about. But in Jupiter, not only there's Yanov Station, which is a freedom camp, freedom base, but there's also an ecologist right here. Usually he stays in this broken down building or train station thing. And there's also the Mobile Science Lab, which is another ecologist base. Imagine Yantar, but in Jupiter. And that is pretty amazing. And also, we will start fighting higher level mutants. Well, not higher level mutants, because we just fought pseudo giants and chimeras, but we will start meeting more high level mutants, and we will have a lot of open space to deal with them. That means also a lot of high-level stalkers. We will start meeting Thin, UNISG, more Monolith. There's a bandit base right here. There's another bandit base in Zaton. And we will have to go to the Zaton as well. But yeah, we have quite a lot ahead of us. Still have all the northern parts of the zone. There will be artifacts in Jupiter. There will be artifacts in outskirts in Pripyat. In Zaton, even in the nuclear power plant courtyards, and of course, in generators, which I dread. But all that will be coming in the next episodes. For now, I hope you enjoyed, and as always, I will see you all next time.